If a and b are integers, then a squared minus 4b minus 3 is not equal to 0. So we're trying to prove that this is true. So we can do so by using proof by contradiction. And the first step, whenever we're doing proof by contradiction, is to get an assumption. Our assumption would be the negation of the thing we're trying to prove, the opposite of what we're trying to prove, which in this case would be a squared minus 4b minus 3 is equal to 0. So we can play around with this, manipulate it, until we end up with some kind of contradiction. And then once we have that contradiction, we've proved that the original statement is true. Okay, so one thing I notice with this statement here is if we were to rearrange it, so if we were to make a squared the subject, that's then equal to 4b plus 3, we can see that a squared must be odd. So we're told in the question that a and b are both integers. If they're both integers, well, 4 times an integer makes it even, whatever that integer b is, adding 3 makes it odd. So this means that a squared is odd, and if a squared is odd, that means that a is also odd. Because the only way that you can square an integer to get an odd integer is if the original integer a is also odd. An even number squared wouldn't give you an odd number. So a is odd. If a is odd, we can say something like let a equal to 2k plus 1. That's a way of representing an odd number where k is also an integer. And then we can put that back into the statement that we have over here. So we end up with 2k plus 1 all squared is equal to 4b plus 3. And then I'll expand this out. So 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 is equal to 4b plus 3. And then I'll bring all the terms which have 4 to one side. So 4k squared plus 4k minus 4b. I'll bring the 1 to the other side, so we end up with that's equal to 2. The reason I did that is because I can now see that if I were to divide this entire thing by 4, so k squared plus k minus b is equal to a half, so again, dividing every single term by 4, I now see an inconsistency. Remember that k and b are both integers. k is an integer, b is an integer. Here we are squaring an integer, adding another one, subtracting another one. Doing those things will not get you a fraction. So this thing here must be some kind of integer. It can't be equal to a half. And there's our inconsistency. If k squared, or rather, if k and b are both integers, this cannot be a fraction. And then we have a brief conclusion. So therefore, what was the original statement? a squared minus 4b minus 3 is not equal to 0 for integer values of a and b.